Hello, it's Friday, August 10th, 2018, and this is California Voter Access News. I'm John Ivey. To start us off, the California Secretary of State has released the public display version of this November's official voter information guide. This version of the voter guide was made available online for review, public comment, and court order changes. And after August 13th, it will become the finalized official voter information guide. This public display of the guide is our first look at the nonpartisan analysis of the 11 statewide propositions that will be on the ballot in November. The voter guide also contains candidate statements for all of the statewide offices, and you can review all of that content online at www.sos.ca.gov forward slash elections. The Register of Voters in San Bernardino County, Michael Scarpello, resigned in July after seven years on the job. A report from the Press Enterprise says that Scarpello was forced out after conflicts with the county's management team. In a majority of California counties, the chief of elections is an elected position themselves. However, in some counties, including San Bernardino, the position is appointed by the county government. San Bernardino County will now be conducting a national search to refill their election management seat. The California Secretary of State was sued in July by the American Civil Liberties Union and Disability Rights California over alleged voting rights violations. According to the complaint, the Secretary of State has failed in his duties in regards to the National Voter Registration Act, the NVRA. The complaint alleges that the NVRA requires the Secretary to designate certain government offices as voter registration agencies and that the Secretary hasn't done so in the case of five such offices. These offices include the California Student Aid Commission Financial Aid Programs, California Department of Education Nutrition Programs, Local Education Agency Special Education Offices, Local Area Agencies on Aging, and County Offices that Administer General Assistance Programs. If designated as voter registration agencies, these offices would be required to offer voter registration to members of the public that utilize their services. And that is the news for today. Thanks for paying attention.